today we're going to do a quick video comparing if I can feel a difference between flying with your standard air mode on KISS or flying with the throttle cut setup that Mr. Steve here uses. So the reason why you would use uh, throttle cut as opposed to air mode no, is because real. it allows you to arm the motors like this and then you can move the quad around and the gyro is not active so it's a lot safer you can test things a lot easier um, and yeah it's just I think generally there's a lot of advantages to it because normally when you do it the quad would be like this and it's stable if you don't move the quad at all but as soon as you move it it's kind of quiet. if you arm it and then you start doing this then it could you know chop your hand or whatever but what we don't know do you actually know anything about whether there would be a difference as far as the feel or the programming uh, of it? From my understanding, there was not a difference. From my understanding, there was not a difference, but that was a while ago. I haven't tested air mode in a long time. Yeah. The difference between air mode and throttle cut back in the day was uh, the bounce thing. There was a lot of issues with air mode having a bounce when you hit the ground so yeah. if you like tried to land if you didn't kill throttle above the ground and drop onto the ground then it yeah. would bounce and like freaking fly to the moon so with the throttle cut you could literally just come down and stop and land and do whatever and then take back up yeah. so there was those advantages but the disadvantage that I the only disadvantage I can see and maybe now you might be able to feel a difference is when you go to zero like you punch out and then go to zero throttle sometimes on throttle cut I can feel the quad do a that little bit a floaty. little bit a tiny bit floaty. it just gets a little unstable yeah but it's very rare that i can notice that yeah it's only when i go like woo and like full zero throttle like i'm hopping over something and you're not even inverted or anything nope i'm just level yep. and typically when i'm level i'm usually going to turn or something so it's not even going to be an issue to so. be honest i think you can feel like because i occasionally you sort of if you're really close to the ground and you do something like say if you're following a car and you mm -hmm. do a big pop up yeah and you hold that zero throttle and then come load. back down yeah it's actually a tiny bit floaty i don't i always thought that it was my stick inputs that were like a little shaky but so you're saying you notice that on air mode yeah okay so, so we'll see if that's on air mode then that would be the only thing that i would say air mode has over this yeah is so yeah so what we've got set up is this quad's got air mode on it this one's got the throttle cut set up i've just got two the same two profiles on on this um, duplicated and the only difference is that we've set up the throttle cut setting on this one so I'm going to give my radio and the quad to steal between uh, between flights so I won't know which is which and we're just going to see if I can actually feel any difference in terms of like what it does when you're on zero throttle so slight change of plan well just modification of what we're doing on a lot of my other quads you can't actually see the um, props in your video feed but on these the 4.5 aliens you can so I'm just going to swiftly swap the front props on this one and then we should be sweet because I won't be able to tell what's what. All right, so I'm gonna pick a quad and Snake's gonna fly it. What quad am I gonna pick? Uh, that I don't know yet. What quad should we pick first? I think this is the throttle cut quad and this is the air mode quad. Let's go ahead and give him the air mode quad. So he can fly something he's used to. Switch warning. Okay. This is the air mode quad. He does another though. All right, coming up behind you on your left. All right, clip. And hold on, open it up again. Don't move. There you go, you're clipped. You're, 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 you're armed. armed, you're armed just. Okay. Yep. Does it feel weird? Any different than your normal stuff? Feels pretty familiar, to be honest. Okay. I can't feel any difference at the moment. I've learnt though when I'm doing these tests that even if one element of the test is something that you're familiar with. It's really hard to know. Fuck. You're up right. You want to fix your drop? Don't take your 
your goggles off. I won't. feels like what I'm used to. When I do that sort of like complete throttle cut thing, it feels pretty normal. Yeah. But it still feels a little bit floaty. I can't tell. Like hop over, hop over some stuff. Hop over some stuff Second. not inverted. Like head towards the baseball field and then hop over the fence, like blimp over the... Yeah. They yeah. do that a couple times. And don't pitch forward. Don't put any right stick input when you do it. Not at all? No, and like okay. see how floaty it feels. There's like, a bit of float, but it's, I mean, it, yeah, like it does move a little bit. It's almost like it's catching the wind a little bit. Yeah. But not heaps. 20 seconds. It stays pretty level. Every time I do it, initially it'll have like this very slight wobble to the left. Yeah and then it stays flat. Yeah, it's sort of, it's almost like the back motor just dips a little bit. And that uh, might be an eye turn. Yeah. Yeah, it could be that my eye turn's Nine. not high enough as well, so. Because I know it's a lot lower than yours. Seven. Six. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Should I go land back where the other one is? Yeah, you can land right no, Okay, throttle cut quad. Waiting. Okay, you're good. Good to, good to take off? Yep. If anything, this feels more locked in the other one. All right, I got to try that a couple more times. So there are people underneath over there. Where are they? That's where it left, right? Underneath where you just popped over. Okay, I got this one. It doesn't move as much this time. Really? Hang on, let me let me just fly around. Where are those people again? They're about gone. You didn't have to worry about them now. Like, it feels more locked in than before. This feels. What? I'm gonna guess that this is throttle cut and that it's actually better than ammo. <laughs> Dang, that assumption though. Well, it feels it feels better than what I'm used to. It feels different. I'm guessing that it's air, it's throttle cut because this, if it is, this is the first time I've flown it. Like we set it up last night and I haven't done a pack on that quad, right? Yeah. So I've never flown it before, and... So what you're saying is... I think throttle cut is... Fuck air mode. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but... Let me do that a couple more times. But yeah, when I was doing, I'd go up and go... Yeah, when I do that, it doesn't move at all. Like, as soon as I cut throttle, it's just dead stable. Does it feel any different? Like, obviously, zero throttle is where you're going to see it feel the most different. But does it feel any different when you're inverted or feel? Like yeah, it does. It feels a little bit tighter when I'm on. Yeah. In, well, anything that I'm doing that involves zero Nine. throttle it feels a little tighter than it did before. Seven. Like that's crisper doing an inverted yaw spin on zero throttle. Five. Four. 
All right, yeah, that's that's my conclusion. So right. you got a bunch of people walking up on us. Two. But other than that, got to get some good. flag action happening. Time to one a lap. So I was right. right okay. Wow. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, so it feels, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it does feel like the way the quad feels when you're on throttle, that's exactly how it feels when you're completely off throttle with this quad. Whereas with the other one, there's like a tiny little bit of float. And I think that you normally wouldn't pick it because it's very rare that you'll do something that involves zero throttle and not touch your sticks. Yeah. So normally you've got some sort of load on it either way. That's so why I said to obvious. do that because that's when I notice it. Yeah. It's when you pop up and you have zero input on the stick, it actually, Yeah. you can see it. So really, I guess the conclusion is the only downside is you have to know how to set it up and that's it. And you have to have two switches to arm. Yeah. So if for some reason you fail safe and hit a building, i.e. what I did, well, to rearm you have to hit one because it's a consecutive switching of switches so yeah. like you have to arm first yeah and then you have to do the throttle cut afterwards if the throttle cuts in this position and you disarm and then try to rearm it won't rearm because the throttle is not below 10 to 50. yep yeah. or 10 so yeah. so you can disarm on one switch yes but it won't be able to rearm it without playing with the other switch so yeah if yeah. you if you disarm on the arm switch which is what you should do when you crash because if you disarm on this then the motors will just be going dee -dee 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 -dee, yeah like sitting so you have to disarm on your actual arm switch and then if you want to rearm, you have to go back here and um, then and then redo it in that consecutive order. Yep. Okay. So like I have mine set up in a, a manner that is like So I have my arm and then I have my throttle cut. Yep. So I'm arm throttle cut. If I go dis, it disarm or if I flick that it disarms. But I'm so used to it that I can So if you flick either of them while flying it'll disarm. No. If I flick this one while flying, it'll just take the gyros out. It'll just go and start tumbling, but if the wind's there, it'll catch it. It won't just go dead stick. Yeah. But if you disarm, then it goes completely limp, like you're not even in the throttle at all anymore. Yeah. And then you have to rearm. You have to rearm and hit this. Yeah. But again, the upside is is you can arm it with no gyro and check your your blade. Yeah. Your blades, yeah. so you can say, hey, like this is actually on track. Yeah. So I can fly props a lot longer based on what I just did with your quad with air mode. I had to just bend the prop back, guessing. Yeah. Because I couldn't spin it up and look at it and make it perfect. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. I forgot to film the last bit of that video, which was meant to be me getting steel to show you guys how to actually do the throttle cut arrangement. But I'm pretty sure I figured it out because he did it on my radio for me, but. We're in the outputs page and you can see at the top here that represents my throttle position number. And at the moment you can see that it isn't changing. And if I put this switch, this is a three position switch, I put that in the middle, you can see that will change. So that's 1063 now. So if I put it at the top, it's 988. At the bottom, it's 988. In the middle, it's 1063. And now if I go up with my throttle, it changes. So you can see that, you can see on uh, that one there that that's throttle, throttles channel one, goes up and down as I move that. So if we go through to the special functions page, and go down, it is set to, so S, SA, which is this switch, if that's in the up position, up position overrides channel one, and it just sets it to a negative 100, which basically just disables your throttle. And then it's the same again if you're in the lower position, SA down, negative 100. And then if it's in the middle, neither of these two uh, special functions are active, which means that um, the throttle is active again. So if we then go back to, uh, to this one, you can see that the other thing you have to do is to um, to bump up when you're using when you're in that middle position. It also needs to bump your throttle up to 1060 instead of at a thousand or 10 1063 as it is with this. Uh, I hope that gives you some explanation. I'm sure you guys can probably figure it out better and better than me because I'm not that great with the Tyrannus setup. But um, yeah, 
that's basically it. So from now on, or obviously I'm back home now, all of my quads are running um, throttle cut and I'm getting pretty used to the two position, the, the two switch arming sequence. So yeah, it's going well. And uh, let me know what you think.